SEC just uh, issued a response to Elon Musk's response to their original filing to hold him in contempt. I know the story is getting kind of ridiculous, but that word is there also for a reason. They literally called in their filing uh, Elon's conduct. Uh, they said it borders with the ridiculous. Now, I'll tell you why they are claiming that. There are a couple of other claims. I'll go over a couple of quotes of what uh, what uh, they're saying, why they do not want to accept Elon's um, uh, Elon's part of the story, but also we're going to talk about, um, you know, how, wh what is the bigger picture and when finally the decision is going to be made, if there's going to be a hearing and how is this whole thing going to sort of end in the next few weeks. All of this is coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button uh, down there so you don't miss anything moving forward and most importantly, become a part of this community. And um, as you know, this story has been ongoing since August, since Elon's 420 tweet. We know all about that. We know about the settlement. Um, and so this time around, um, you know, a few weeks after he went on 60 Minutes and bashed the SEC a little bit, um, they uh, found this tweet, and we kind of know this tweet, uh, this one that he made about uh, how many cars Tesla's going to make um, this year, and then he corrected it with this tweet saying, whoa, 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 I, I meant the rate, not the whole thing. So anyway, they, they filed... Um, with the same judge asking the judge to hold him in contempt. Um, they basically uh, said that, listen, he did not uh, seek pre-approval as he was supposed to, pull, pre, you know, per agreement. And even though he corrected himself, you know, he didn't go through the process that we set up uh, for him. And actually Tesla was supposed to set up for them. So therefore he's in, in contempt. Um, now I have to say that he, the reply that Elon's attorneys, um, uh, kind of uh, uh, submitted to the judge, I think it was last week. It was mainly BS, but they do have this one point is because on that same day, uh, Tesla did file paperwork that sort of mentioned this as well. Now, they still did not say that there's going to be 500,000 cars in 2019. So that's a bit of a flaw in argument, but at least they can't, uh, uh, that SEC can claim that Elon was tweeting something that basically uh, uh, wasn't pre-approved uh, because, you know, it was within 48 hours per Tesla's policy where, you know, Elon can tweet something that was already a public knowledge, a public statement that was pre-approved originally anyway by Tesla. Now, um, SEC comes back and says, well, no. Uh, and, and here's a quote that they're, that they're saying. Um, they're saying, it is stunning to learn that at the time of filing of the instant motion, Musk had not sought pre-approval for a single one of the numerous tweets about Tesla he published in the months since the court ordered pre-approval policy went to into effect. Now, I have to say, true. I don't think it's a good argument though, because, okay, so he didn't because there was nothing to um, seek pre-approval for, at least from his point of view. And he did cut down on a lot of tweets that uh, kind of uh, could affect the decision of investors. I, I, kinda, I believe we all saw that, that after that settlement, he kind of took it easy. He, he wasn't making any major statements. So if anything, that's that's kind of as planned, isn't it, SEC? So I don't know if this really works. However, the second part of that statement, and I kind of separate them into two, is something that they might actually have a point. Um, before I, before I uh, quote you guys, I just want to remind you that uh, this channel and uh, this video is sponsored by Accelerate Auto. The... Um, Extended service contracts for electric vehicles, including the Tesla Model 3, uh, up to 125,000 miles, only $100 uh, dollar deductibles, um, and uh, they, uh, they you'll receive a discount if you use uh, the discount code in the description of this video, which is E4 Electric. Uh, go ahead and uh, check it out, uh, figure out which state you're in, and there's a link to click. Um, other than that, enjoy the service. It is very, very cool. All right, so... The second quote from uh, from the SEC, I think, uh, makes a little bit more sense. Uh, it says, Musk reads this course order as not requiring pre-approval unless Musk himself unilaterally decides his planned tweets or material. His interpretation is inconsistent with the planned terms of this course order and renders its pre-approval requirement meaningless. Okay, so that's where I think they have a point. They're essentially saying that the claim that, that, that Musk's attorney said that he did not think 
that this tweet had any material information. And they, they might be right there, just like I said, because that material information was already uh, sent out publicly and contained similar information. Again, not about 500,000 uh, cars being produced in, uh, uh, this year. Um, and, and, and therefore, you know, he himself decided that that was a material. And that's what they are having a problem with saying that that's not up to him to decide because then what's the point of this whole court order, which is true. The whole point is that someone else decides for him whether or not it's material. And he, since he, you know, hasn't seeked any type of free approval ever for any tweet, then essentially they're saying that, you know, he's violating the order. Now, listen, I, I'm not a legal analyst. I'm just saying there is an argument here. I don't think there's an argument in the one before that. Now, but don't forget, also, uh, Elon uh, essentially said that they're violating their, his First Amendment rights because, you know, he can't tweet unless he gets pre-approval. Um, their reply to it is actually pretty simple. He said, listen, you agreed to this, right? If you believe that your, your First Amendment rights were violated, then you should have never signed this agreement. But when you signed this agreement, you waived your First Amendment rights. And I think, again, not a legal scholar here. I'm just saying just reasonably, it makes sense. So I, I think they're going to win on that one. Now, they're also claiming that he changed the story because originally he said that he uh, published a tweet uh, within uh, because because of the uh, quarterly report that they published. But then when so but then they had to change it because that actually wasn't good enough. It wasn't within 48 hours per Tesla's own policy. Now they they changed it and saying, well, actually, there was a form filed that same day. So they did change the story. So SEC is right there. But at the same time, I think you're allowed to change story as you kind of are trying to figure out what happened. And, you know, if the story that you end up with actually makes sense uh, and is true, then I think that's perfectly fine. But he did change the story. That is true. Um, now, Tesla also filed uh, a motion that uh, they would be allowed to respond within a reasonable time. Uh, it looks like there will be no hearing. The judge says that both sides don't don't disagree on anything that's, I guess, uh, that, that actually happened. Um, so they just, I guess, there's going to be back and forth. And at some point, the judge is probably going to say, OK, that's enough. I'm going to make a decision. Now, I, you know. Even if they rule against Elon, it, nobody expects the punishment to be very harsh, uh, but um, there might be some to kind of make sure that he goes goes for, doesn't go further without actually, you know, obeying this quarter and, 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 and making sure that he seeks the approvals uh, before he tweets. Now, by the way, a lot of people are saying SEC is going after him. I know the other manufacturers, well, actually, uh, last week, SEC has filed a pretty big, much bigger action against Volkswagen Group. Uh, they're claiming that um, they've uh, uh, defrauded the uh, investors, and that goes actually all the way to the diesel gate. There, I guess there are some new findings. So just FYI, you know, they are also doing their job on different fronts. They are uh, filing motion uh, against Volkswagen Group. So that's where we stand right now. So let's talk about the positives and negatives. All right. So as a positive, you know, it's, it's hard to find positive in the story. But if you ask me, the positive is that, you know, no matter what the outcome is, um, Elon will have to be even more careful when he tweets. I mean, obviously, it's good for protecting the investors, but I actually think it's good for protecting him, right? We're in the middle of all this exciting news with a Model 3 being at $35,000. The Model Y was just unveiled. Um, they, they were profitable for a couple of quarters. They're building a factory in Shanghai. There's just so many amazing things going on with Tesla right now. And this is consistently is sort of like this black stain on the stories that are being published and takes away the positive energy, no pun intended, uh, I should be pointing this way, right? Pun intended. Um, so that's why I, I, I think this is good. If he's going to be more careful, I know he doesn't like it, but if he's more careful, we won't be talking about it. So um, that's that's a positive. Now, obviously negative, and I literally just mentioned it. It's it's simply because we're talking about it, and um, I, you know, it shows uh, his sort of disregard and disrespect, and he was pretty open about it in the 60-minute interview uh, on CBS. That you know, it just. Uh, it's just not good for the brand, right? I mean, I think we all want the brand to do well and Elon to do well. Um, so why be at odds at the at the very uh, at the very uh, sort of organization that has so much power over you? Um, it's just it's just not good, obviously. Um, and I hope they figure this out pretty soon. I hope the decision, whatever it is, 
Um, I don't think it's going to be a big deal in one way or another. Um, it is there and they can move on uh, and just kind of, a, you know, a continue executing on all of this good news that they've had in the last few months. All right. Well, let me know what you guys think. I'm definitely interested to see which side you're on. Or maybe like most of us, you're just tired. You just want to, you know, get this type of resolution or whatever punishment he might have. Then just go with that and, and see what happens after that. All right. Let me know. I'm looking forward to your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged. Thank <laughs> you.